Hey, hello, everybody. We're looking at the tail end of the third crop in the last year uh, for this star fruit tree. Okay, I mean it's it's been even fuller than this. This is a third crop, and these uh, fruits have been coming in for the last five to six weeks. I think maybe seven weeks. Okay, and again, the third crop in a year. Okay, and just produces like crazy. Okay, and this isn't even as full as it's been. It's fruit on the ground. You can't even keep up with it. So, I mean, star fruit, I've found, has been just crazy productive. Uh, I mean, how many fruit trees produce multiple times a year? And how many fruit trees produce this much fruit? Okay, I mean, this is uh, this nuts. Can't keep up with it. Uh, and the fruit is good tasting. I do very little to the tree. You know, we have some mulch down. Every now and then I put some citrus fertilizer down, but I don't even remember the last time I did it. It might have been a year or two uh, since I've done it, and it's still producing like crazy. So uh, can't recommend highly enough this tree. Um, it only took two or three years after I bought it where it really started taking off, and it grew pretty fast. Uh, this is about as big as it gets. It's about maybe uh, maybe 12, 14 feet high at the most. Uh, I haven't really pruned it, so it doesn't get very big, but it did grow pretty fast to get to this size. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, highly recommend Carambala or Starfruit Tree. Sorry about the traffic noise. I don't know what the problem is today. These uh, loquat trees are uh, pretty crazy productive tree that I have. Uh, as you can see, this one is full of fruit. I have three of them, and they normally uh, produce in a similar uh, time period, but they don't, like one will be uh, producing fruit, and then the other one is just starting. That's usually what happens. This is the second time this year that it's produced fruit. So, again, very productive tree, full of fruit. It's good tasting. You do need to let it ripen, okay, before you eat it, because it is kind of sour if you don't let them get nice and yellow get some a lot better flavor kind of sweet tasting a little bit kind of like uh, strawberries is what it reminds me of um, what's great about this tree is uh, it's frost tolerant you know it can get in the 20s and you don't have to worry although I haven't had that happen in several years um, but it can handle uh, very high heat high humidity and it can handle cold uh, down into the 20s so these have just done great I've had them for I think about seven or eight years maybe maybe a year or two more than that okay very good tasting very easy to take care of um, you know I put mulch down on these trees but uh, I don't fertilize that much Again, it might have been a year or two since I fertilized this last. And look at the amount of fruit it produces. I mean, you can't even keep up with it, uh, how much it produces. So uh, I like eating these like uh, as a fruit cup, instead of buying fruit cups at the grocery. I just grab some loquats in the morning to take for lunch. And that's my fruit cup. It's usually what I do. So you can't beat these trees. Uh, in fact, we got these two trees, this one and there's one over there, free. They were planting this, doing landscaping on this road, and uh, sorry about the traffic noise. And we didn't even have to pay for this. They planted this like the county. And then I did plant another loquat tree over here. It's a third one, and it stopped producing uh, fruit about a couple weeks ago. There's some old ones on there. Uh, and this seems to be a slightly different variety. The fruits are a little bit bigger. They have a slightly different taste, real nice taste, real sweet. But this usually produces fruit first, and then the other two start producing like a few weeks later, which works out really good. Um, so low quads, you can't beat it. Get a closer look at these. I'll put a link in the description box below of, uh, you can check prices on Amazon for some of these fruit trees and other landscaping plants that I have. If you're interested, you can click on those links. So hopefully that helps. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to send me a question and I'll try to get back to you. See you later.